Good morning, everyone. So I'm from Dynatrace, but I'm not talking about our product at the moment. I want to talk about real user monitoring, or actually I used to talk about real user monitoring. Today I want to talk about robot crawl experience. What does that mean to you? Let me tell you, these switches turned off from all monitoring tools, the robots. You had no visibility into robots anymore. I want to explain to you now why it's important to see robots. Because everybody wants to be number one on Google, right? That's what we are here for. If you're not on Google page number one, you're done. You're going out of business. In order to make that happen, uh, there is an industry called SEO, search engine optimization. And uh, people spend more money on search engine optimization than they do on performance on a globally perspective. Yeah, I had nothing to do with these SEO guys, but I had to do a lot of performance. And the only thing that Google unveiled was site speed. Site speed matters to Google. They let that directly into the ranking and, uh, algorithm and they really take care of performance. By the way, it's the time to first bite that counts for them. This year, they told us, hey, mobile friendliness. Something obviously interesting to us as technicians as well, because we have to all of a sudden take care that our website is not only working on a desktop, but also on the mobile devices. And uh, the latest thing that came up uh, was really uh, this one that they are testing a red slow label. Would you click on that? <laughs> a slow label instead of, I mean, ad is already disgusting and you're not clicking there normally, but if, you, if there is a slow label. And the other thing is, if you look closely, it's m.youtube.com, considered being slow. I hope they have a slower or slowest or very slow uh, label for us as well. <laughs> But I was talking about that and at a meetup here in Amsterdam, and BVA Auctions, a local company, uh, popped up here and said, hey, you know, that's really great that you talked about that. Because that's the reality. We are facing between 500,000 and a million requests each and every day from the Google bot, hammering our data center. And guess what? This is two-thirds of our traffic. And I asked a couple of other companies I worked together with, and I said, yeah, we're more in the 50s, we're more in the 70s, we're more in the 60% range. That seems to be reality. Some told me, hey, we have a data center running just for Google. We have a load balancer in front that says, if Google, go to that data center. Okay, obviously something that we should uh, take a look at, right? If you're running data centers for them, it's like, interesting. And yeah, we took a look at it. We removed the check mark and said, hey, what are we seeing there? And it's not only Google coming in. It's a multiple a set of search engines that are hammering your website. Yeah, and uh, it's also interesting to know what their experience is. Are they failing? Are they really experiencing the awesome performance that we think we built? The other thing is, if we just look at Google, uh, you can deep dive there and say, hey, what are the indexing engines out there? What are really they doing on our website? And yeah, we figured out, and there's research going on at the moment for me, but we figured out that the bot behavior must be different. So some of them are technically crawling differently. Some of them are actually executing JavaScript. At the bottom chart, you see like 20% of them are executing JavaScript, and the rest is not executing JavaScript. Are they relevant to us? Yes, for sure, because we want to look at the performance of those pages. We can now order them. Are all pages slow, or is it uh, just particular pages? 
thanks God if your marketing landing page is the slowest page uh, ever, and you might have built it just for SEO purposes. You can figure that out and uh, see that and uh, go then down the route of uh, every technician. You can just look at it and deep dive and try to figure out what's wrong. The next thing and the only recommendation that I want to give you is watch your Googlebot, what he is doing with your data centers, and talk to your SEO manager because they can control that. And there, is, there are solutions out there that you can reduce the amount of traffic hammering in on your data center. You want to know more? Um, so clicker is not more. Uh, yeah, now it works. Uh, I'm around today and tomorrow. You can meet us uh, at the Dynatrace booth, and uh, we can talk about it. Thanks. <laughs>